On Monday, I worked on the reactivity system that governs how the game changes in response to your actions. Um, on Tuesday, I felt like that system wasn't really working and I just reworked it um, without thinking uh, about it a lot. And then in the evening, I realized that I needed to organize more. So on Wednesday, I started a to-do list um, and then nevertheless just reworked the reactivity system again, um, again just following my gut feelings. Um, but I also started to visualize the reactivity. So now there's some icons that spawn in the places where the level has changed, indicating that something is different and that something else was there before. Um, on first day, I cleaned up the boss level selection code, added some graphics and placeholder art, so now they are all unique and like differentiated. Um, and I also finally actually made the boss levels, or at least the first versions of them. I cleaned up the visualization of the reactivity and I went over each single level, adjusting the reactivity objects that like um, govern the actual specific changes inside of each level. Um, and I also removed all of the robot levels, which had these like um, pretty cool looking structures that were like very, like you could like push them over and stuff, but they were so slow. They're so tedious to interact with. Um, so I just cut them for now. So today's Friday, and this is the fourth devlog, meaning that I've been talking about this game on YouTube for four weeks now. Um, and looking back <laughs> over the old videos, um, I, I can see a very like, erratic behavior. Like um, Every week, basically, I'm coming and I'm like, oh yeah, no, I changed all of this stuff, and now this is all different, and this works like that now, and I'm explaining all of these like weird things and ideas. Uh, <laughs> which is, you know, kind of interesting um, because normally uh, this late in development in, in, in my other games and in, in Quamp and Producer, it was very clear how the game was going to end and how the structure was going to be. It was very fundamental to the project how the structure was, was, was going to be. It was like the first thing I thought about. Um, but with Mosalina, it's kind of the opposite, where I know the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay and like how it's going to be in the moment-to-moment -moment stuff. But the larger structure is just completely open. And I'm very happy that I've kind of kept it this exploratory and this loose for so long, because now like ideas and thoughts from many months ago start to connect and click and it's like, it's small changes at this point um, in terms of code. Like the larger like system is very solid, and I'm I'm very happy with it. And I can like um, I can't really change that a lot, but I can make small tweaks. I can like change the size of the groups. I can change how boss levels are selected, and suddenly you know it's just these little incremental things, these little incremental structural changes that really feel like they're going in the right direction. Um, it's kind of like a, a, a necessary to do it like that, I believe, um, because this game, it, it does, nothing like this exists. Um, I mean, that sounds maybe a little bit of uh, arrogant. It's like, it's, 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 like a, it's like a Dark Souls randomizer without the original Dark Souls. It's like a daily run of Nuclear Throne, but there's no normal run of Nuclear Throne, right? It's like, it's kind of like removed from the thing that normally would sustain a game mode like this. So there's a lot of unknowns. There's a lot of stuff that's just not clear that I have to just make and trial and error. It's, 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 it's very interesting. I've been, I've been, I've been uh, watching Mrs.'s devlogs to like see, you know, how can I make more appealing devlogs. <laughs> um, and what he's doing is, is fascinating because he just knows exactly how the game is going to be in the beginning <laughs> of development. It's like a, a very like planned uh, development process, very like driven by like replicating systems and structures that exist in other games. And my approach is the complete opposite. <laughs> so the, the devlogs are also kind of like rambling. Um, yeah, I, 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 I quite enjoy it though. It's, it's, it's fine that like not a lot of people watch it. I'm very grateful that you watch it. And I'm looking forward to keep doing this for some time. Um, now let's, 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 go, let's go to the audience questions. The developer asks how hard it is to make the level so open-ended and it's it's kind of interesting because it's more it's not about I have to stop thinking about how will they solve it and I have to think about 
what looks like a concrete, unique level. Um, because if you can apply the same solutions to every level, it's you're going to lose the, the juice. Um, I try not to think about how will they solve it. I try to think about like, how does it feel when I look at it? Um, Ira Montes asks, what sort of design ideas or rules of thumb do you find actually practical for making games? Are you using any of them for this one? Ooh. Uh, um, I believe in iteration, first and foremost. It's not really an idea, it's more of a practice. I guess, I guess it's everything I've found useful in the past that I've really believed in is still to some extent with me and informs my decision, even just in an antagonistic role, even if I'm like, oh, you know, fuck uh, Jonathan Blow like puzzle structures. I'm making the opposite of that. It's still inside of me. So uh, whatever, everything I've consumed is an unsatisfactory answer. Um, I would recommend you to look at FAD, Formal Abstract Design Tools, uh, which is just a cool article, <laughs> if you're looking for, if, if that was the implied question. Um, no Tester 82 asks, how wild do you think speedruns for Mosolina will be? I don't know if you can actually speedrun the game, because I'm not planning on including like a locked mode where you always get the same levels and the same tools. Like, speedruns would be highly random. <laughs> it would be more like, you know, like, oh, challenge runs would work much better, where it's like, oh, you know, um, can, can, can I beat a run of the game without dying, you know? Um, Banana Peel on Head asks about Loot Bandit. Loot Bandit is, a, in my opinion, legendary developer um, who's now mainly making visual testing things on Twitter. A huge stylistic inspiration for me. Um, I'll link the itch page below. And those are all the questions. If you have some more questions, just ask them. I will answer them in the next video. Um, and please don't forget to wishlist um, Mosolina so that I can eat many burgers. Thank you. <laughs>